everybody, this is Oksana and today we're going to wrap a, a little crystal point. And I actually got this idea when I did the little mushroom pendant in my previous video. I also used this thin wire and I twisted it and it kind of gave me this idea. So I do have a few crystal point videos that are more um, of like the typical frame using square wire, but I thought that this was a little bit different and fun and it uses round wire. So if you want to see how to make this little crystal point pendant, just keep watching. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified of when I make new videos, which is every weekend. All right, so let's get started. The wire that we're gonna be using is 24 gauge round copper wire. This is dead soft wire. And I got this spool from, I know you can't really see it, but there it is, riograndecom And you're gonna need two pieces of it. It's a pretty thin little wire as you can see here. And mine are 17 inches long. And my stone is a tiger's eye little crystal point here. It's pointy on both ends here. And it measures a little bit over an inch. It measures 30 millimeters, which is a little bit more than an inch. So then you want to find the middle of the two wires. And what I find helpful is using something ra round, like round nose pliers or bail making pliers, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create like a little circle that the tip, the little point of our crystal is gonna sit in. And you don't want that circle to be so big that the whole crystal fits through it because it'll like slip through it and fall. You want it to be so that it like roughly goes right here on the point and that it's skinnier than the crystal itself. So you'll see once I actually make it, maybe that'll help make it more clear. So for me, using the thickest part of my round nose pliers accomplishes that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my um, wire around the round nose pliers and it's kind of hard because um, there's ends on each side. So you just have to start with one side. So just hold it kind of this way and start with one side. And as soon as you just get it started and do a few twists, it'll be much easier to do the next side. So here I got it started and now I can go ahead and just kind of tightly shape the wire around. See how it creates like a little round shape. And now I can twist. Just make sure it's um, centered. And if you haven't twisted wire before, Go ahead and give it a, a try first because it can be a little tricky. What helps me is making sure that these are kind of equally sticking up and down, that one of them isn't like more straight like this because then it te if that's the case, it tends to wrap around the other wire instead of making kind of an equal and even twist. So let me show you. Here's what it looks like. This is the little circle that we made. And what you can do is just go over it a little bit with your regular pliers, just to flatten it a little bit, because sometimes it can be not very flat. So then if we take our crystal point and we put just the point of it in, this is what you get. 
Let me show you from this end so you can really see. See, it fits in, but the little gap is so small that the whole crystal can't fit through it. It's just going to sit in here like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just twist this a little bit more. It'll probably need to be even longer than this, but um, first we just want to see how this is working out for us. So I'm just going to go over it very gently with my pliers. I'm not trying to like squish it. I'm just trying to straighten it out because sometimes it gets like little bumps in it. So it's nice and straight. See how this one by comparison is like a little bit bumpy. So I'm just going to go over it just very gently just like this and now you want to take your crystal you want to determine the front of it so mine has these flat sides to it so I want this one to be the front like this so what I would do is I would place that tip of it in and then I would press upwards on these little edges here and have them go up the sides of the crystal and what you want to do is just press this down so there isn't um, gaps between the wire and the stone like this so as you can see our little twist is going up the sides here the sides of our crystal um, actually it's a little bit easier I think if the front instead of being a whole flat side the front is a angle like this so you actually have two in the front like this because then the twisty wires sit on a flat edge there and it makes it a little bit easier so if I hold it this way the way that it will be worn you can see that these twists don't quite reach the top but at least now we have it bent in the right shape so we can always pop our crystal back in there and now that we've done this we can just continue twisting our wire and make it a little bit taller Alright, so I've made my twists much longer and now I'm just going to place my crystal back in and push the twisted edges kind of on the sides here and you want these twisted edges to kind of go here to the tippity top of our crystal like this so one of these will be the bale doesn't matter which one, you can just pick one so I'll just do the frontmost wire, which is this. And right here at the top, at the tip of the crystal, I'm going to put a bend in it so that I can make my bail. So I'm going to temporarily take the crystal out just because I can't hold it while I'm doing this. And I'm just going to give this just a little bit more of a twist because I think it might be just a smidge too short here for my bail. Let's see. 
All right, so for my bail, so you can see this is going this way. This is going to be the top. All right, so if we look here, this is the bend that we made. This is going around the top. This is the very top of our crystal. So now to make the bail, I'm just going to use my round nose pliers. I'm going to grab it here at the tippity top. I'm going to bend it towards me. And then I'm just going to use the wider portion of my round nose pliers. And I'm going to bend this around to make a loop, which is going to be my bail, like this. That's what it looks like from the front. Kind of hard to see because of the sticking out wires there, but this is going to be my bail. You can shape it if you want it to be a little smaller. You can use regular pliers to shape it. And now I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around. like this. I'm going to just wrap it all the way around until it's pointing towards the back here. So we've created this little loop and I'm just going to press down here on this little wrap that I made like this and in the back in the back here, I'm just going to trim the little wire ends off and I'm just going to take this and press it down to get those little wire ends out of the way so they're not sticking up or being pokey. So I've kind of pressed them down. They're headed in this direction now. Just feel them and if they're still sticking up and you can feel the pokiness of them. Just kind of press them down some more. All right, so I'm just adjusting how this looks from the front. So we can take our crystal and pop it back in now. And here's what it looks like. So here's our bale here at the top and then we have this other wire. So for the other wire, what you want to do is you want to hold it like this and this wire, so this wire is kind of going in the back here. This is my front. So I'm going to wrap it around from back to front just right underneath where we have that twist for the bale just going to have it go around all the way around until we get to the front again like this. I'm going to need this twist to be quite a bit longer for this next part so before we continue I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Alright so once you've made it longer what you want to do is just keep this all in place so it's the bail is right at the tip here and we're just going to keep bending this wire just around and around just nice and slow and you want it to just kind of go underneath itself like the next layer is going under like this and the ultimate objective here is that it will go over this tip, the top tip of our crystal, and it will hold it in place. Because right now, the bottom is held, but the front can just come out. I mean, the top can just come out. So let me pop that back in. If you go far enough, then it won't be able to pop out. So just going to keep going and wrapping it just around and around. So a good test to see if you've done this enough is just take your crystal and just move it. Does the tip pop out? If you just push on it kind of gently, I mean obviously if you push really really hard and you try to get it out you'll be able to but just normal you know nobody would be 
trying to break it on purpose. So if I just kind of shake it around, it's staying pretty steady, so it's good. So now what I have to do is go to the back here and I have to finish this wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bend in it like this. And I'm gonna trim that off and leave a little end like that. Because what we wanna do is we wanna take the end and we wanna tuck it in there and tuck it away. So usually here on the edge, you might be able to find a little gap and you're just gonna tuck that in there and just push on it with your pliers. Just push, push, push it in there until it's tucked away like that. So now here from the front, you wanna just make some final adjustments if you need to just kind of straighten up your bail a little bit if anything kind of got out of place but this is just the final final touches here and one last thing you want to do is these little edge wires if they have any gaps you want to just push them down like this with your pliers to make sure there isn't any gaps and here it is, all completed. Here's the little tip in the bottom there. Here's what the edge looks like, the back of it. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.